Hello friends, welcome to this video. Today I am in my bathroom because the lighting is just way better in here. Today we're going for a clean girl makeup look which is pretty much a model off duty, fresh faced, lightweight kind of look. Perfect for every day, perfect for spring, and perfect for me because I don't typically do anything different with my makeup. Let's get into this video. So my face is already clean, I washed it off camera, I do have a little pimple right here but it's okay it adds character so we all know any good makeup look always starts with good skincare so i'm going in with the serum this is the wishful skincare thirst trap juice it's water based so it doesn't leave your skin looking extra shiny or oily oh look at the sun wanting to come out out of nowhere hey honestly love using this stuff it makes my skin look and feel very healthy very lively which is important to me because lately i've been having issues with my skin looking a little dull so Going in with this is always great for me. So once the serum has set, which I feel like it has, typically it'll leave like a tacky feeling and I don't feel that. So I think we're good to go. For moisturizer, I'm going in with one of my favorite skincare essentials and that is the Aquaphor Healing Ointment. And I just go in with a little bit of this because you can look really greasy with this really fast. So now that my skin is nice and moisturized, I'm going in with SPF. This is the Super Goop unseen sunscreen and the label is coming off that's how much i've used this but i actually need to get another one i'm gonna take a little bit actually lies i'm gonna take a good amount we don't play when it comes to spf okay if my neck's gonna be exposed i bring it all the way down by the way sorry if my lashes look a little wonky i got my lashes done for valentine's day so that was a while back and i have not gone in to get a fill i'm gonna take a break I think this month and maybe next month and then I'll be back. Honestly, I missed my natural lashes. I really did. Um, nothing against lash extensions. I love them. I actually really want to go back and get them done. But one, I really missed just like doing that. <laughs> doing that, I can't really do that with falsies or not falsies, with lash extensions. Um, but aside from that, I kind of wanted to give my lashes a break because it is... It is a bit much on your lashes. So for primer today, I'm using the Huda Beauty Water Jelly Primer, which is a beautiful primer if you're looking for a glowy kind of hydrated look, which is exactly what I'm going for today. And exactly what the name says, this primer is truly a glass of water for your skin. Like, look how... Okay, just like all my other products, I will just press that into the skin. Okay, so I had to clean up my brows off camera but they were looking a little rough i'm trying to grow them out so this is just an awkward stage that they're going through but after primer i do my brows just because i like to give my primer some time to like set before moving on with my base so i'm taking my la girl shady slim brow pencil in blackest brown i don't i just realized i don't have my mirror how am i supposed to see what i'm doing it's gonna go towards the ends and just kind of fill those in a bit sometimes i make them a little too dark I'm like, damn. So I just fluff them back out. One thing I really like about this pencil, it's very forgiving because I will go in like really harsh sometimes and I'm like, oh shit, <laughs> I don't know. So just going in with the spoolie and the spoolie is very soft too. The bristles are nice. It's not like super stiff. That's one thing about brow pencils is like the pencil will be good, but the spoolie will be horrible or I'll hate the pencil, but I'll love the spoolie. And for this eyebrow, what I'll do is, because like the end is kind of skinnier, is I'll just thicken out the end. Now for the front of my brow, I'm just gonna create little hair-like strokes. And I just blend and do the same thing. Stroke and blend, stroke and blend. To set my brows in place, I use the Got To Be Glue Gel. And my bottle actually looks really dirty, so I hope that you didn't see what it looked like and i'm just gonna brush all the hairs upward and that also kind of helps me see what areas i might have missed to blend the concealer around my brows i'm taking the real technique square foundation brush this is probably my favorite brush to clean up around my eyebrows like it just glides so perfectly okay my brows might not be my friend today but that's okay because the rest of my makeup is gonna look fine so i already primed i'm going in with the la girl pro concealer peach corrector and i'm just gonna take a good amount of this underneath 
my eye here. My sleep schedule has been all thrown off. I slept a little bit and I applied a lot. And then I blend that out with my ring finger. I just recently started color correcting more and I don't know why I didn't do it sooner. I kept looking for a concealer that is good for like, you know, covering up dark circles, one that was full coverage. And I'm like, why don't you just color correct? I don't understand. So for base, I haven't really been using foundation just because I'm kind of in between shades at the moment. So I've been using the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer in the shade, not light sand, wrong shade, light beige. And I'm going to go in with that in the center of my face, kind of like a butterfly wing. And with my Real Techniques Blending Sponge, I will just blend all of that in. This has quickly become my favorite concealer from the drugstore, hands down. ELF really did their thing. This shit is so amazing. I'm also taking a little bit on my forehead. Not gonna lie, I be forgetting to do my forehead all the time. And I wanna use this concealer as base because it just gives a nice light coverage. One, but it evens everything out. So it's not like super duper sheer, but it does even out the skin. Actually, I'm gonna take, <gasps> no. I'm actually gonna take a little bit more on my pimple here. I'm just gonna cover that up a little better. Now I'm going in with the same e.l.f. concealer but in the shade Light Sand and I'm just gonna take a little bit underneath the eyes. So this is just one layer of concealer and look how alert she is. Good morning. Now I'm going in with the Revlon Colorstay Skin Awaken 5-in-1 Concealer in the shade 015. This concealer amazing specifically this shade so i just take it in the inner corner right there and then and actually i'm gonna take it up my nose a little bit more on the side there and this just brings everything forward it's a great highlighting shade i love this so much but i will say though it dries fast so i try to be quick with it oh my goodness yes Hello! Look at her. Oh my god. She is awake. She is present. Yes. So moving on to bronzer and blush for this clean girl makeup look. I'm going in with the e.l.f. putty blushes or putty bronzer and putty blush. Bleh. You get what I'm saying, okay? E.l.f.'s putty products are absolutely insane. This specific shade, I think this is tan lines. Yeah, tan lines. It's such a beautiful neutral toned bronzer. And then I also have this blush in the shade Tahiti. But we're gonna take it up a notch. I'm going in with the Revlon Rose Glow Mist and I'm going to spray my brush. By the way, this is the Revlon Lies. This is the Real Techniques Buffing Brush. This is what I use for bronzer and blush because it's all kind of going in the same area. It's going in with the bronzer. I'm just gonna take a little bit on my brush. The bronzer, I just go in little Tapping motions along the hairline, bringing that down. And I apply it in the same place I would apply my blush. And then I go in with blush on top, just so it's nice and blended together. And it's not like bronzer, blush, you know, it's kind of just one big mix. And spraying my brush just gives it a nice radiance. Nothing too crazy. I just spray my brush one more time and then go in with the e.l.f. blush in Tahiti. This time though, because I don't want my blush to be super harsh, whatever I have, I'm gonna take on the back of my hand. I'm just gonna take that up a little, just cause this is a model off duty kind of look, so kinda wanna lift the face a little. I'm also gonna take that up my hairline too. Now for powder, I don't typically wear powder too much, but I will apply some under the eyes and I'm gonna take my Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder. I never knew the full name of this, but this is probably my new favorite baking powder just cause it's just, it's very full coverage. Well, it's my favorite full coverage powder cause I will say that the Maybelline one is perfect and it's very lightweight. This one is a little heavier, but it is great coverage and it just makes everything Looks super like airbrushed and flawless. I love it. Just going in with a little bit of that under the eyes, barely even touching. But I'm also gonna take that on my lids too because I didn't apply any eyeshadow and I don't think I'm going to. And then whatever product is left, I'm just gonna go around my mouth area. 
So before I move on to my eyes, I'm going to go in with the MAC Fix Plus and I'm going to set my face. I feel like this spray doesn't do a whole lot as far as making my makeup last. Some people say it does, but I really don't think so. For my eyes, I'm not going in with any eyeshadow just because I don't think it's necessary. But I will go in with some white eyeliner in my waterline just to open my eyes a little bit. And this is the Essence Liner. And then I'm saying all this because I feel like my camera's gonna cut off. But then I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. This is probably my favorite drugstore mascara ever. I really, really loved the Benefit Lash Roller or Roller Lash. Um, but that was a while back. And I haven't really picked it up <laughs> in a while. So I've been using this and the bristles are very similar to the Roller Lash. So I feel like this is kind of like a dupe in a way. I know I'm not supposed to put mascara on my lash extensions, but there's literally only three lashes left. And I kind of need my lashes to look the same <laughs> today. Then I'm actually going to go in with some falsies. These are the Soul Foam Ink Lashes in the style 016. Literally one of my favorite lashes from the beauty supply. Okay, lashes are on. We're good to go. I also went in with lip gloss off camera. This is my favorite lip gloss ever. Not just drugstore, but ever. It even beat the Fenty Beauty one in my opinion, but this is the Maybelline Lifter Gloss, specifically in the shade Topaz. So pretty. And they're very long lasting too. They're not sticky, they're not gritty. They are just amazing. I'm pretty much done with my makeup. I'm actually going to do my hair. Oh my God. Yeah, we definitely need to do this. What should I do with my hair today, friends? Should we curl it? I actually don't want to apply any. <laughs> I don't want to apply any heat to it. We can bring out my girl. I want to say this is Jordan. Anyways, I think she's the move for today. And voila, this is how it looks. Okay, friends, so this is the finished clean girl makeup look. I love the way this came out. I look super refreshed, super glowy, and just, I don't know. It's like effortless almost. My camera is literally about to die. Okay, friends, so my camera died. I'll be sure to link all the products that I use in the description because I know some people might be curious. Also, my ponytail i will link that as well i also have a discount code with inh hair if anyone is interested in using it i will leave it on the screen but yeah friends thank you so much for tuning in to this clean girl makeup video i really hope you enjoyed and i loved every minute i low-key kind of discovered a new makeup routine i hope everyone is staying safe and staying healthy hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day and i will see you in my next video